today we're going to be demonstrating uh, fitting for an ankle brace. Uh, now there's all kinds of ankle braces that you can use. Uh, they range from costs uh, to size to color to style. Uh, you can really kind of pick any, you know, any particular one that you want. Um, the majority of them are actually going to be uh, kind of keeping the ankle in a fairly neutral position so it's preventing it from either inverting it or everting it. Majority of all ankle sprains are going to be inversion ankle sprains, so you really want the lateral protection. Uh, this particular one is what's called a lace-up, which means that it actually has laces that you would tie um, up. Again, not every brace has that, but this just happens to be uh, a fairly simple, easy one to use. Uh, ranges anywhere from around $15 to $25. So again, it's a very economical um, option for people to use. And uh, for at that cost, um, if an athlete is to actually to use uh, an ankle brace for um, a season, uh, it doesn't take very long. It takes about um, probably two weeks uh, to be able to kind of equal the cost of taping. So if you're going to be uh, taping an ankle longer than two weeks, it's always beneficial to actually go to a brace. The other benefit of a brace is that the, actually, the athlete can put this on themselves. So it doesn't really require the athletic trainer to fit this for them. Once you describe and demonstrate it, how to do it correctly, they can put this on, have it through the season. The important thing though is that it's fit correctly. So you wanna make sure that you have the right size, make sure that it's uh, fit appropriately. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. The first thing that we wanna do in sizing the brace is make sure that the athlete is in a seated, kind of relaxed, comfortable position, their leg extending off the table in what we call a neutral or a dorsiflex position. This allows us to uh, simulate when he's uh, standing on it. Based on the athlete's shoe size, uh, depending on uh, what that is, is what uh, determines the size of the brace. And so this individual has around a size 11 foot, which um, corresponds to a medium or a large. Uh, so we're gonna uh, start with a medium size, and if that's too small, then we would um, move up to the large size. So we place our brace directly over the foot, kind of like we're adhering a high top shoe. And we want to uh, secure it and kind of tighten it down with these laces. We don't want it too terribly tight because we don't really want to cut off any circulation, but we want to make sure that it's nice and secure. Now that we've got it tight, uh, we're gonna use these side straps to provide additional uh, lateral or medial stabilization. Uh, the strap that we start with is determined on uh, what type of ankle sprain we're trying to prevent. If we're tr trying to prevent a lateral ankle sprain or the foot going into an inversion position, this is the one that you're going to start off with. And 80% of all ankle sprains fall into that category. Uh, so it's majority of the time, this is the way that we want to do it. So we're gonna take our strap and we're going to go around the top of the foot to the medial side and then wrap around underneath the foot and pull that nice and secure to the lateral side. So that's pulling his foot into an everted position. Take the opposite strap, come around and do it the exact opposite direction underneath the foot. And this just kind of is secured or stabilizes. It doesn't necessarily pull the foot in any one particular direction. This strap is really just to help hold the, uh, the lace down so it doesn't come untied while they're participating. And that gets secured in there to make sure that these straps also don't come off. Once it's done, just check the brace, make sure it doesn't have any kind of wrinkles or gaps, uh, make sure it's fitting appropriately. You can have the individual hop up, uh, walk around a little bit, make sure that it's not too terribly tight. You can also check for circulation uh, by using capillary refill. Um, and uh, as long as it's secure and uh, fits comfortably, the athlete's ready to go.